If a line segment contains several random points, what is the probability you can fold that line segment at those points to form a polygon? Hey everyone, it's Roland from Math Geeks R Us, and today I'd like to share with you my approach to this riddle. Here is line segment AB. We'll evenly distribute six points on AB. Then we'll fold AB at those points to form a regular heptagon. If we unfold the heptagon and randomly distribute the points like this, we can still form a heptagon. This time the heptagon is irregular. However, if we redistribute the points like this, we cannot form a heptagon because one segment is longer than all the other segments combined. What is the probability of forming a heptagon with six random points on AB? Or, more generally, if n minus 1 points are randomly distributed on line segment AB, what is the probability that AB can be folded at those points to form an n-sided polygon? We'll use heptagon examples to get us started, and then once we see the pattern, we'll test that pattern with pentagons, and then finally extend the idea to all n-sided polygons. In addition to displaying line segment AB in its entirety, I will also show you a stacked view of AB. This stacked view has the left half of AB on top of the right. This will help us determine when a segment is too long. Lastly, let's assign a 0 to all the points on the top half and a 1 to all the points on the bottom half. If we scan the top and bottom halves simultaneously, reading left to right, we will generate a binary representation for each arrangement of points. As you will see, certain arrangements of points won't allow for the formation of a polygon. Let's generate 10 random heptagon examples and search for a possible pattern. Out of the 10 examples, 7 generated a heptagon and 3 did not. Notice the binary representations for the 3 that did not. In each case, all the zeros precede the 1s. Is there something specific about that arrangement of points that prevents us from generating a heptagon? Yes. Let's look at the first of those examples to understand why. Notice that if the last zero in the binary representation precedes the first one, it forces the line segment generated by those two points to overlap in the stacked view, resulting in that segment comprising more than half of AB. And when one segment is longer than all the rest combined, we cannot form a polygon. How likely is that to occur? There are two to the six possible arrangements of six points relative to each other in our stacked view. Each of the 64 arrangements is equally likely to occur. How many of those 64 arrangements have all the zeros preceding the ones? Seven in total. Those seven arrangements will not form a heptagon. The remaining 57 will. 
so the probability of forming a heptagon with six random points on AB is 57 out of 64. Let's see if that pattern holds for another type of polygon. This time we will distribute four random points and determine the probability of generating a pentagon. Here are a few examples. The same pattern emerges. For any binary representation where all the zeros precede the ones, we cannot form a pentagon. There are two to the fourth possible arrangements of four points relative to each other in the stacked view. Each of the 16 arrangements is equally likely to occur. How many of those 16 arrangements have all the zeros preceding the ones? Five in total. Those five arrangements will not form a pentagon. The remaining 11 will, so the probability of forming a pentagon with four random points on AB is 11 out of 16. Now let's state the general formula. For an n-sided polygon, we need n minus 1 random points on AB. There will be two to the power n minus 1 possible arrangements of those n minus 1 points in our stacked view. Each is equally likely. N arrangements will not form a polygon. So the remaining 2 to the n minus 1 minus n arrangements will form a polygon. So the probability of forming an n sided polygon with n minus 1 random points on AB is 2 to the power n minus 1 minus n, all divided by 2 to the power n minus 1. Here are the probabilities of generating every n-sided polygon from 1 to 10. Some interesting things to note. There is no such thing as a one-sided or two-sided polygon, and our general formula accurately indicates there is zero probability of forming a polygon when n equals 1 or 2. For n equals 3, we can generate a triangle 25% of the time. This is the only polygon where failure is more likely than success. For n equals 4, quadrilaterals are formed 50% of the time. For any n greater than 4, we are more likely than not to form a polygon. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Please click the subscribe button so that you know when the next Math Geeks R Us video is available.